Right, this is just an update on the uh, the uh, rocket stove boiler. Um, as you can see, the flame is absolutely beautiful in there. Nice and blue. Hopefully, it'll come up on the camera. And uh, this is just to say that it's been running a month now, and there's been no problems with it whatsoever. And uh, see, this is still up there. This is the. at 8 o'clock this morning, running beautiful, no extra problems, um, running up to a nice temperature and uh, I haven't checked the temperature but it's probably round about, we are coming up, yeah it's running at 600, doesn't like it does it? It's about 690. That's what you're running it. You can see that it fluctuates. <clears throat> That's not bad. You wouldn't want it a lot hotter than that. <coughs> that heats the water up just nice. <coughs> and the rads are really hot. <coughs> so there we are. That's just the update. Uh, um, but the reason I haven't lagged the boiler is because I'm using it as a double thing. I'm using it as a, still as a space heater and a boiler. So I'm just using the extra bit off the back, which is the heat exchanger, so that I can get, basically I'm getting free heat. So I'm doubling the output of what the stove actually does. And people have said about uh, all the problems that uh, you would have by putting cold water on the back of the stove. Absolute rubbish. Um, it doesn't have any problems. It runs really sweet as a nut. As you can see, the, the flame is superb in there. If you can get a flame coming like that with all that blue in there, you've got it cracked. And this, this is really nice. So this is the boiler and uh, there's no problems with creosote inside it is absolutely spot on this is the four weeks of because uh, I've been running quite a long time that's the four weeks in that bucket there of burnt what's what's left out of the fire so there we are look. squash down your rubbish but there we are all that's come out in four weeks. <coughs> I reckon that's pretty good. Quarter of a bucket of waste from the from the boiler. So that tells you that uh, it's burning so efficiently. And it is nice. That's with the door wide open. Obviously, if the door's wide open, you burn more fuel. But at the end of the day, it is warming up a six meter square, and. Uh, the workshop has only got a tin roof, so I will flash round, look, you can see, there's the roof, <coughs> only a tin roof, that's all it is, and it keeps it a comfortable 60 degrees in here, that is all I need, <coughs> so I'm quite happy with that, um, so it's working really nice, this is the see what the room temperature is. Right. Oh, 16, there we are. 16, 15, it's there. Let's see if I can focus it. That's the room temperature at the moment. So you can see for yourself, 16 degrees, that's comfortable uh, for working in. <coughs> you wouldn't want it any hotter than that. So that's 
pretty good. I'm pleased with that. That works, it works for me anyway, and I, I hope if you build one, that it'll help work for you. At the end of the day, that is what I've done, and uh, it's not that difficult to make. I've given you dimensions, you know, things. The, the centers of the pipes, <coughs> 50.8, so you can use, uh, use a, an elbow, and then you use an M M and F elbow. That's the centers you need to drill. Um, but there's, there's 12 tubes through there, quite simple. <coughs> but the reason it's not lagged is because I'm still using it as partly as a space heater in the workshop and uh, I haven't got enough radiators, so I haven't managed to scrounge, I'm tight, I'll have to scrounge old radiators for the workshop. So we're looking for a couple more rads, <coughs> a couple of big ones would be really good, and then I will lag this, and that will cut and how much fuel it burns. So that would probably cut the amount of fuel that I'm using now by half, because it would be lagged, that's how much difference it would probably make. But um, I'm happy it runs really nice. I hope this helps you in the future if anybody wants to build one. Uh, it's quite simple and the pipes are kept up from the bottom so that you can have nice clean easy at the bottom of the boiler. So the idea is that you can put the cleaner in, which is, this is my scraper. See that scraper, that goes all the way to the back. That's it really and, and it is easy to clean out. That's the reason the tubes sit on the top, so that it's easy to clean out. And uh, having a second burn chamber, which is the one there with the grill in, I don't know if you can see it. Um, that second burn chamber it makes all the difference. Should be able to see. There we are. There's the second burn chamber. Then it drops into the ash pan. But the amount of ash I got in a month is nothing. So that's just to prove the efficiency of the boiler. This is Dave signing off. Don't forget the bits at the bottom. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. If you want to leave me a message or a comment underneath, you can. Um, and don't forget to uh, subscribe, uh, as if you want to. Also, uh, I do not make any money out of my, my uh, YouTube account. Uh, <coughs> I do nothing, it's only there to help people build their own fires and uh, to make it efficient because I've done all the development work so you can do it for yourself. This is Dave sign off. Bye. Thank you for watching.